So it's also definitely louder. Um, I wish I had a decibel meter to compare the old one to the new one, but uh, you know, that's just what you gotta deal with if you want things to work. Okay, another day and I got my new fuel injectors in. They are Injector Dynamics 1000cc injectors. So these should be more than enough for really what I want to run on E85. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean them. I pulled the old O-rings off, bought some new ones. I'll put those on once I'm done cleaning them. But I made a little adapter to hook up to a can of card cleaner. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that and see how it works. Okay, real quick, I thought I'd show you how I'm doing this uh, on the last one. So basically, the first way I do it is I put the injector so that the flow is kind of in the normal direction. So I hook up my leads, tap the power to make sure it clicks. Not sure if you'll be able to hear that. Um, so none of them have been stuck yet, so that's good. Uh, they all have clicked. I did buy these used, so I really didn't know the condition of them, even though, you know, they didn't say they were bad, but you never know how long they were sitting. They were used with the 85, so it's hard to say if there's anything wrong with them. I go ahead and just give it a little tap while holding the injector so it doesn't shoot out, build up some pressure, and then tap the injector power. And they all look like a really good spray pattern. Uh, and then I do a quick glance at the filter to see if there's anything in there. I already looked at them before I, I did this and really nothing had any, any debris inside the filter. Uh, but just in case I push anything into the filter, I want to spray it in the other direction. So I wipe everything off. Uh, now that the carb cleaner has had a chance to break down any of the varnish, and then I put it in backwards and then make sure it's clicking and then give it a good couple sprays. It's a little bit harder to seal on this smaller uh, metal part of the injector. So uh, it leaks a little bit, but that's pretty much it. That's all the injectors clean. So now really I just have to put the O-rings on. Uh, I also have a new fuel filter coming today that is made for E85. So that's one thing I really didn't realize when I purchased my Fuel Lab fuel filter was it didn't say anything about being incompatible with E85, um, but uh, I found out that, yeah, it's not compatible. It's a paper element, so I bought the uh, fiber element. It's actually smaller micron. It's a six micron element. So that should be coming in today. I uh, get the O-rings on these injectors and slap them in and hopefully, you know, I'll have to change the injector data because these are smaller than the ones that I have in there now. So once that's done, uh, I'll probably get back to uh, trying to get this thing tuned and see if it runs any better. Day two. All right, just got back from the sheet metal place that made my shroud. Uh, turned out pretty good. It's just a half inch deep, uh, same size as the radiator core. And I also got my Flexalite 
fan. It's supposed to be rated at 3000 CFM, so hopefully that helps. Uh, but now I really just got to get it marked out and cut the hole and bolt this thing to the shroud. Uh, it really should just be a bolt-on uh, plug-and-play. I just swapped my connector over from the old radiator fan. So once I get all that done, we'll hopefully be able to hook it up and test it out. So I got the shroud and fan mocked up and mounted. I got the hole cut out, as you saw. I uh, bolted the fan to the shroud, and I drilled a couple mounting holes for the top. Uh, I really don't want to pull the radiator, so I'm just going to zip tie uh, the bottom. This should hold the majority of the weight on the top. So I'm also waiting for some uh, gasketing edging for the, the edge all the way around. I have enough room that I should be able to put just a small thin gasket in there hopefully to help with vibration and you know I don't know if it'll actually seal any better but it's probably worth just throwing on there it's only a couple bucks so I'll show you uh, you know that it works I can uh, manually override the radiator fan with a switch inside definitely moving a lot of air So it's also definitely louder. Um, I wish I had a decibel meter to compare the old one to the new one, but uh, you know, that's just what you gotta deal with if you want things to work. So once that's, the gasket comes in, I think tomorrow, so that'll be able to wrap up the fan. Uh, later today, I think the uh, E85 compatible fuel filter from Fuel Lab is supposed to come in today. 20 minutes later. Okay, got the filter out, jammed here in the vise, got to pop the outlet off, and I have the new filter here with some new O-rings that came with it. Ooh, tight. That came apart pretty easy though. So we got to pull this paper element out. Yeah, I only really ran one tank of ED5 through it, so it looks like it's looks like it's holding up all right. So no uh, major catastrophe. Pop this guy off. Looks like the O-rings are pretty much brand new still, so I'll save those. So this is a six micron, and it's like fiber. It's not paper, so handles the ED5. 
unlike the paper filter. So let's get this thing tightened back down. Toss back in the truck. Save these O-rings for later. Alrighty, now it's time to grab some Vaseline, pull these injectors out, and pop in the new ones with the new O-rings and hope that they work better. So yeah, I'll have to uh, flash a new tune for these 1000 cc injectors and then I'll be able to fire it up. It's really rainy today, so I'm not sure if I'll really want to pull it out and warm it up today, but probably tomorrow I think the weather is supposed to be a little bit nicer. Day three. Alright, back at it again. So I got the radiator shroud all bolted up. I got my little uh, gasket. Uh, to stop the vibration and hopefully seal up against the radiator really nice. Uh, got it cut out for the fan so it's a nice tight fit. Bolted that together. Uh, hooked everything back up. Uh, and the injectors are already in. I think I showed putting those in earlier. So now it's really just time to pull this thing out. Fire it up and see if it gets up to temp and acts appropriately and stays cool and idles well. So... Wish me luck. Okay, well, that cranked up really nice. Uh, if you heard before, it would, you know, it would take maybe a couple couple revolutions before it'd light off, but that, that time it kicked off like almost immediately, which is uh, how it used to start with the old Siemens DECA injector. So everything looks pretty good. So I'm just going to keep letting it warm up and make sure the fan kicks on when it's supposed to, and I'll let you know how it goes. Well, it seems to be working extremely well. So I lowered the temperature at which the fan kicks on. Uh, I didn't want to cycle it back and forth as much. Um, and it seems like, you know, I'm not going to wind up cooling the motor down to the point where it's going to not run well. I think it's going to run just fine, even if I cool it down to like 160. So I have it kick on at 175 and it's going to shut off at 165. And I wasn't able to do that before with the old fan setup. So now it kicked on at 175 and now it brought it down to 165. I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to cool it below that. Can't quite tell if it shut off or not. I think it would have to go to 164 to kick off, but it seems to be working way, way better. So uh, I really just need to bring it out and test drive it and see what kind of temps it gets up to. So I'll probably do that. I don't have a whole bunch of time today. I'll probably do it tomorrow. I think the weather's supposed to be nice again. So hopefully, oh yeah, just got down to 163. So yeah, this is working way better. I'm excited for drag week. This is gonna work so much better even when the temps are hotter. It was probably like, I don't know, not quite 80 degrees. So it was a little hotter when I was having the issue, but I think this should be able to handle it much better. 
and we'll see how the injectors work out too. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll wrap this up here and uh, I'll jump back into another video tomorrow. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.